be talking today about um, end-to-end -end testing and uh, well why end-to-end -end testing and what is it all about uh, let's uh, talk about the following diagram that we have here it's a line differential relay diagram we have a line we have a couple of relays uh, one at each end of the line uh, which have to act together to protect the line in a, okay in a differential uh, scheme for that they need to talk to each other and for that, they need to uh, see the magnitudes on both ends of the line in order to determine whether the fault is inside of the line or outside of the you know, protection zone. Uh, now, the only way to ensure that you are testing such a scheme is to uh, have signals applied to both relays at the same time in order to simulate either a fault inside the protection zone of both relays or a fault outside of the protection zone of uh, such relays and you know determine whether the relays are operating properly or not. Uh, in At some point someone might think okay I will apply a signal to the what I call here the local relay and uh, see if it picks up then I will apply a signal on the other end to the remote relay and see if it picks up and then I'm happy. But uh, there are so many uh, issues that could happen with the communication between the relays and uh, with the interpretation of the signals that is made from and, and at both ends um, for the same uh, fault that is applied on the line that, uh, of course, the, the only way to ensure the proper uh, testing of such a scheme is to apply signals at the same time uh, in the on the relays and of course evaluate whether both those relays uh, acted properly or not. So this is a definition that I you know came up with about what is end-to-end -end testing. You will find as many definitions as people you know approach in the field, but uh, everybody uh, you know agrees in the fact that end-to-end -end testing is a way to evaluate the entire protection scheme. Uh, by simulating the effects of faults on uh, both ends of the line, uh, which have to be played simultaneously. And everybody also agrees that in order to do end-to-end -end testing properly, the ability to synchronize uh, the uh, application uh, of injection or injection of the signals on both ends of the lines is uh, of the utmost importance. Uh, now, why do you do end-to-end -end testing? Well, um, we, we already talked about it, but it's the only way to perform the simultaneous verification of the operation of all the elements of a protection system. There is no other way to verify the actual operation. Well, barring a fault happening on the on the system, an actual fault happening on the system when the system is in operation, and uh, okay, if that happens and we haven't properly tested the system beforehand then we are okay fingers crossed let's see what uh, if the system operates it's the only way available right now to engineers to verify the operation of the protection system as a whole uh, what do you test well from the scheme that we saw before uh, it is clear that when you're talking about end-to-end -end testing what you are testing is any protection scheme that includes remote communication uh, between relays this is an example. You have a line, you have a relay in uh, side A, a relay in side B. They are talking using some sort of uh, communications protocol. Uh, relay number, uh, I mean, relay A is telling, is communicating to relay B whether he thinks that he should trip or not. Relay B is relaying that same communication to relay A. If both determine that they have to trip, okay, then they'll, they'll, uh, they'll trip together. Uh, what type of protections are tested using end-to-end -end, uh, testing, well, line differentials, any communication-based uh, distance protection, uh, transfer trip schemes like uh, permissive over reach transfer trip, permissive on the reach transfer trip, etc. So some sort of phase comparison schemes, some automation systems that uh, work in um, either transmission lines, even in distribution uh, places, where you have remote communications between relays that have to, you know, uh, shift the load or switch uh, from one uh, 
feeder to, to the other, those uh, are also um, schemes that are prone to be tested using end-to-end -end testing. 